Good afternoon. This is an upload video. My name is David Lane and today's date is August 24th, 2019. I'm with Bulldog Rooter and I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 7241 North Pamela Street here in uh, Spokane, Washington. I'm called out to, uh, this afternoon for uh, um, water in the basement um, around the floor drain, flush the toilet and water came up. Um, into the floor drain, found that there was an outside clean out and that the line had uh, uh, been replaced, a portion of the line had been replaced about 10 years ago. Uh, we worked from the outside clean out, sent my cable down, hit an obstruction right around 50 feet. Um, as soon as I broke through that construction or that obstruction, the line drained. And now we're performing a video inspection. Um, you'll always be able to tell where the bottom of the pipe is by where my camera light is and by where the little bits of water are. We're looking at the city sewer right now that runs down XL, XL Road. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and narrate the pipe as we come back. What we pull into what looks like to me six inch concrete pipe. The homeowner is responsible for everything from the edge of that pipe right where it taps into the city back to the home. And this concrete looks really good. The, the initial uh, push out um, looks really good. The homeowner originally had Orangeburg pipe um, on the property and the uh, company came in and looks like they did a pretty darn good job of, of laying the pipe. There, there was no standing water or anything in the PVC. You can kind of see my cable marks there on the side of the pipe. I went out excuse me, over a hundred feet. And we're going to have a footage coming back towards the home, so we're just passing 25 feet right now. Bottom of the pipe is now at the bottom of the screen. There was a little bit of roots there at that fitting and we cleaned those up. Just passing 35 feet. The most problematic areas for concrete are the joints and here I believe is the problem area where the um, obstruction was that was holding, uh, holding the water back and we have just one little root hanging on there. The diameter of that guy is pretty thick and we, we could spend a lot of time and really never get that thing. Um, this is the connection. Um, from PVC to concrete, and we'll call that we'll call it right at uh, 38 and a half feet coming back towards the home. So we have 38 and a half feet of uh, concrete pipe, and here we transition into the PVC. What we're looking for is any cracks, breaks, lumps, any standing water, and initially I saw none of that. There's a fitting there. Passing uh, 58 feet from the city sewer coming back. PVC looks good. PVC has an indeterminable life expectancy under most conditions. That looks like the little rubber gasket right there. I believe that's the little rubber gasket coming through. That could be, well, no, I believe that's what it is. That's 
something of note there. We'll call it 75 and a half feet from the city sewer. And here we're coming up to clean out. So we'll call it 80 feet from the bottom of the clean out to the city sewer and 38 and a half minus 80 minus 38 and a half would be 41 and a half. So we have 41 and a half feet of PVC. And here we pull up the clean out now. And there's the clean out we're working out of. There's the gas meter. Again, my name is David. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date's August 24, 2019, and that's going to conclude the video inspection of the main line of 7241 North Pamela Street here in Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much for choosing Bulldog Rooter.